That's good. That's good right there. By the way, I heard about you looking for your girl. Hey, you should have told me. I got contacts all over the world. I could help. Why would you do that? I had been divorced three times. I'm clearly a romantic. That's great. Right there. Right there. I'm gonna come around this way. So, tell me about the Nazi. Oh, come on, he was your coach, he fed you, right? He kept you alive. This is good, this is good right here. Right? Nothing more to tell? Well, nature the most protected Jew in Poland. I made them a lot of money. dog, nothing more. But even a beaten dog loves its master. Right? Oh, okay, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All I'm trying to say is, listen to me. All I'm trying to say is, nothing is black and white. Okay? That, that is the sweet spot of a true story. The cracks and the common ground between good and evil, Nazi and Jew. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. <laughs> I heard the story once. Uh, about a, a prisoner who, who, who lost his cap. Really, what's that? We, if you show up for inspection without the cap, you can get killed. So this man was fighting, no cap, he dies. So I quickly goes back to the barracks, he searches, he looks, he sees someone else's cap has been left. He takes it and he runs out. The other man comes back to the belts. He's looking, he's looking for his cap. Frantic. No cap. The man who took his cap goes out to inspection knowing what would happen to the other man who no longer has a cap. After inspection, he goes back to the barracks and he has a gunshot. He knows that the other man was killed. Was he wrong to take the cap? He lived another day. I think these are the choices we made every day. Cho choices made when you were starving. Choices made when you, your gums bleed and you're sick to your stomach. You, you shit your pants and you. Choices made when you remember that you once had a family. Choices made. Take another picture. I need another bulb. Get another bulb, Laurie. Right. <laughs> 